I have made it a priority to ensure that we're conducting rigorous oversight over mega banks and their activities. We last had all of the mega bank CEOs to testify before the committee in 2019. Since then, there have been many developments involving mega banks that this committee will be examining today. I'm eager to hear about the mega bank's response to the pandemic crisis, including their provision of mortgage forbearance, affordable loan modifications, support for extending the foreclosure moratorium, and paycheck protection programs, loans. I'm concerned that the institutions led by our witnesses raked in billions in overdraft fees during the pandemic at a time when so many individuals and families across the country are struggling through no fault of their own. Additionally, some of our banks prioritize wealthier clients for PPP lending while processing smaller loans at a much slower rate, or in some cases, turning small and minority-owned business away altogether. We heard so much about this from all over the country. I've also asked our witnesses to describe their institution's efforts to reach underserved communities and address banking deserts where communities do not have access uh, to a bank branch. The four largest banks have closed thousands of bank branches over the past decade. And I'm concerned that this is exacerbating the bank desert problem and harming communities that rely on branches for basic banking services. This week also marks the tragic anniversary of the murder of George Floyd, a black man by white police officers, which focused America's attention on racial injustice in this country. The mega banks responded by making a number of large commitments to support minority depository institutions, community development, financial institutions, and communities of color. Given that these banks have repeatedly been found to discriminate against our communities, the CEOs will be asked to explain if their banks are following through on those commitments and to learn what additional actions they will take this year to address racial disparities that remain pervasive in our banking system.